start this video off just by saying that I'm no psychiatrist, I'm no counsellor, it's just the things that I speak about in this video are from my own experience. There's nothing that I'm now going to tell you that didn't piss me off when I was at rock bottom. A few years ago when I was suffering from a lot of anxiety, depression and yeah it was a stressful time, there were panic attacks, I was crying daily but this video it would have pissed me off and I wouldn't have listened to it but when I did manage to get my head around the things that I'm now about to speak about my life changed so first off you're depressed and you know what I've got no sympathy for you you're depressed so what you're depressed because you choose to be depressed just like I chose to be depressed just like I chose to suffer from anxiety and as I say if you're pissed off like I would have been pissed off because someone has just told me that they don't have no sympathy for me being depressed that I choose to be depressed it's because you've been triggered I would have been triggered now stress anxiety depression it's all up here it's in your mind it's a choice it's a voice in your head now if you take that voice from inside your head outside your head and imagine someone else is telling you what you're telling yourself multiple times a day I'm depressed I am not good enough I'm ugly I'm fat I'm not worthy I'm unhappy now imagine that someone else telling you that you're depressed you're fat you're ugly you're not worth anything no one will love you you'd want to tell them to fuck off wouldn't you so how contradictory is it that you let yourself tell yourself that this voice in our head is so powerful the things we tell ourselves eventually become reality you see we can tell ourselves so many things over and over and over again that we eventually believe them and this depression this anxiety in our head the more we tell ourselves we've got that the more we so we give ourselves a reason to believe that the more we give depression a form a being it's something for it to build on to become a massive part the biggest part of our lives and you see it's your choice depending on the language you use whether you let that become the biggest part of your life and take over whether you let that be you whether you let depression define you and depression is everywhere nowadays I said on Facebook the other day that I've noticed that multiple clients now are coming to me with anxiety, depression, with work stress because work used to be a 9 to 5 day and now it's 7 till 7 if you're lucky so as I say if you tell yourself something if you say that I am stuck you stop if you say I am ill you eventually get man flu or worse there's nothing worse than man flu ladies if you say I'm sad you slow down and eventually you stop and it all becomes too much but why can't we just tell ourselves rather than saying I am sad I am stuck can't we just go out there and say I'm happy I'm strong I'm beautiful I'm me why can't we do that that voice in our head is what defines us if you let it now a lot of the times people's confidence people want acceptance and people will bully you if you let them there's a story basically of one of my old bosses now this person 
had no self-confidence and they used to take it out on everyone else. I'm not going to mention any names or even the sex, but this person would go into meetings and really, really degrade their staff by taking the piss out of them. That was okay, it's because they weren't confident in themselves. Usually, if someone is taking the piss, pointing a finger, in fact, all the time when people are pointing a finger, they are judging themselves. You point the finger, they're free pointing back at you. So, when we look at our day-to-day -day lives as well, because you look at this bully and that person would do it on Facebook as well. 90% of the things that are said on Facebook, which if we could track our Facebook use, I guarantee it would be ridiculous. But 90% of the things said on Facebook, they're not the whole truth. No one wants to put all their shit on Facebook. Okay, some people will, just to get a little bit of attention because they're not necessarily getting it anywhere else. There's a reason for everything. But now, there was actually a term called Facebook depression. And I've heard that it's actually clinically a term. People scrolling through Facebook, judging themselves based on other people's photos, which have been filtered, which have been cropped, which aren't showing the whole picture. It's a scary world we live in. And there's a massive thing you can do, not on Facebook, not even just for your mind, but for your body to help you with nutrition, which will in turn help depression. See what I did there? I'll speak about that tomorrow.